So we're all pretty familiar with how to key and animate transforms in Blender, like uh, scaling and rotating and moving. But what about if we want to keyframe visibility of an object? So here I have this pineapple animation and the pineapple drops from the sky, bounces, and then at about 40, it cuts in half. And I want this uh, to turn into a pita, pina colada, essentially. And this uh, white part is like the, the liquid. So I want that to not show up until that 40 mark um, so that it's not just sitting in our scene floating in midair for some reason. So how do I keyframe the visibility of that white disc? Well, it's pretty simple. So right off the bat, you want to select the object that you need to keyframe so that you can see its, its specific properties. And you're going to go here to Object Properties and scroll down to visibility right here expand it and you'll see this thing called show in viewports and renders that's the visibility setting that we want to pay attention to and we're going to pay attention to both of them because what i render i want to see in my viewport and vice versa i want these to be the same so i'm going to always keyframe them both together uh, otherwise your renders won't look like what you think they will. So this is important. Um, and like I said, I don't want it to exist on 40. So I don't want to see it anytime before 40. And then at 41, I want it to show up. So, uh, you don't have to do back to back keyframes. If you want something to slowly transpire, uh, it can fade into your scene. But for this, I want it to either exist or not exist. So I need to be very black and white and just do it over the span of one frame. So. On 40, I'm going to go to this little dot to the right of my uh, properties and select it. And that is giving it a keyframe. And what I want to do is unselect these. So now on my dope sheet, you see I've got the keys on that little disk that's inside of the pineapple right now. And I don't want it to be visible in the beginning. So I'm unselecting those two uh, boxes. And I've got keys because I've got those little tri, not triangles, those little diamonds there. So now I'm going to go to my next, my next frame at 41, and I'm going to check them off. And that creates the key. Those little diamonds signify that that key is there. And now if I scroll through my animation, my disc is no longer in my view. And this is my camera perspective. This is my final uh, view. So I can see that. What once was just a floating disc is now gone. And then my pineapple drops, opens up, and there's that disc. Um, this is a really useful thing. You'd think you won't use it, but then you'll need to, and you'll be happy you watch this video if you're not already doing it. So visibility is super, super important to know um, how to control. And uh, just remember to make sure your viewports and renders are both keyed together. That's it. I hope this helped you guys. Thank you for tuning in. And if it helped, please check out my playlist in Blender where I have more tips and tricks like this. Thanks.